Well, folks, if y'all went over and saw that video of me falling in the boat on Broke Yaxon's channel, you'll understand this project. I'm extending the front deck on the boat. Come on, let's go. Okay, folks, I want this deck to be flush with my existing deck. I just want it to continue on. I don't want a lip or a drop. So I'm gonna take a piece of my three quarter inch plywood. I'm just gonna hold it up here against it at a level spot and just draw a line under there. Okay, that's where my ledger board is gonna, well, whatever you call it, board. I'm gonna have to have a board right there so this so my other one can sit on top you know what I mean I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a piece of wood that goes across but I'm gonna have to leave three quarters of an inch from there to the top of that y'all get what I'm saying I'll show you this set what I want to do is just make it flush draw a line under there see just like so now I have a line to go by where I need my other wood to go. That's flat right against there. That's flat. That's flat right against there. I know people are gonna tell me there's another way to do or an easier way to do this, but I'm no carpenter, I'm just a red, old redneck. Well, you know, I just do things, I figure out how to do things. And this is how I'm figuring out how to do this. Stay with me, we're gonna build a deck for this boat. So folks, what I did with this piece of plywood is I measured from here to here, which was 39 and a quarter, 39 and a quarter. <laughs> I wrote it down with my finger on my hand. So I had the guy at the uh, lumber yard cut it that for me. Okay, 39 and a quarter by eight feet. So what I did is I came home and I took the eight foot piece and I laid it over the boat and I just used this as a template and I drew a line. I cut it off with the hacksaw or the, the uh, jigsaw and it's gonna go pretty much right in here in this area. So now what I gotta do, I got the other end hanging over. Now I got to draw a line on this side under here. of that contour because this boat contours you know you know what it does it does like the front of a boat does it goes to a point so I guess I'm crawling up under here I'm gonna crawl up under here and draw me a line let's see how it comes out oops I didn't mean to push the record button but Heck, while it's recording. I might as well. Leave her recording. While I crawl in there and make my marks. Take your shoes off. We can be walking around the boat with the flip flops on. I may be too damn big to fit up under there. But we'll try it. <laughs> yeah. This boat's very, very small and very difficult to maneuver in. Especially when you got another person and their fishing gear and coolers. And I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get back out from under this thing. I was thinking I could use this area under here to camp, to like sleep in if I was to go camping with my boat, but this is not very comfortable. I don't think I'll be camping under this 
damn thing. Now I got, now that I'm under here, I have to take a crap. Oh no, and I, I better hurt and mark this damn thing and get the hell out of here. Oh, jeez. So that's gonna be at an angle. So it's, my mark's not gonna be correct. Uh, that's, <laughs> oh boy. I don't know how accurate that's gonna be. That's gonna be close. I'm gonna make that mark, but then I'm gonna go back to here and make this mark. Right along the line of the boat. That's gonna be a, that's a for sure outline of how the boat goes. But this, that's a freaking crude line, I'll tell you that. Let me get up out of here, folks. I got to go. I'm backwards. Let's see if maybe an easy way to get out of here might be to just easily move that damn piece of wood out the way. I've been down here before. Wasn't too long ago. Oh, carpet's wet from where I washed it. Going, my pants are wet now. But if I don't get to the bathroom, they're gonna be more than wet. <laughs> I'll be back shortly. All right, folks. Well, here's my rough mark of the uh, outer. This is the outer line. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down with the jigsaw and. Then from there, I'm gonna take an old piece of wood that I have over there, and I'm gonna cut it out the shape, the same shape as this. Okay, what it's gonna be, it's gonna be too big. Then I'm gonna whittle that down. I'm gonna whittle it down a little bit at a time, a couple inches at a time until I get it just to fit in just right, like I like it. And once I get that old piece of wood perfect, that's the one I'm playing with. Then I'm gonna use it as a template to cut my good wood. Let's get to cutting some wood. All right, let me move my support a little bit. I got a chair, a lawn chair supporting that. Oh, folks, my jigsaw broke. The little set screw that holds the blade in is stripped out, so I gotta find a bigger screw or something to jam in there or go get a damn new. Probably I'll just get a new jigsaw because that one's about 50 years old. So can't do any more shaping right now. I just have to do straight cuts for my, you know, my support. Folks, I think it's time for a break. It's about noon. I'm gonna uh, do a taste test. I got Pacifico, Cerveza, some Mexican or Spanish beer, Mexican beer, beer of Mexico. I don't know, I don't have my glasses. Let's give it a try. Sure, I'm thirsty. That's all right. It ain't no damn Corona, that's for sure. It's good. It's not bad, really. I do love my Corona, but I would not buy this over Corona. Pacifico. That's my <laughs> that's my taste test for that, for or my opinion on that one. It's a little stronger, thicker than uh, Corona. I think it's a little dark. It might be a little darker. I don't know. I can't tell because it's in the brown bottle, but it 
taste darker. You know how you can taste it? It tastes like a heavier beer. Uh, it sure goes down good after all this work I've been doing this morning, though. Tell you what. I know by far this boat deck ain't going to be perfect. But it's going to work. I'm going to have lots of storage underneath it to put stuff out of the way that you won't trip on and there's going to be plenty of surface to walk on easily without having to worry about falling over <laughs> that's the main thing safety the boat's gonna be a little heavier but that's okay it's all right it needs a little bit more weight in the front that damn big ass motor on there 40 horsepower on the back is just man it's heavy I put new spark plugs in the boat this morning, set of four, and I uh, topped off the oil reservoir for the two cycle that injects the, you know, it's automatic injection or whatever, uh, injects it into the cylinders with the gas or I don't know how it does it, but put the rest of the oil in there that I had. So one day. <laughs> soon hopefully I'll be back out there catching me a redfish and we'll try another beer too I have a another beer that came in the pack that's a different brand we'll we'll try it on camera too well I've gotten quite a bit of work done today out there on that boat and uh, I don't folks I don't guess my blood pressure medicines right because I'm still feeling faint and dizzy you know uh headed not even only just when i stand up but just when i'm sitting down like just right now i feel like i'm halfway to fainting um and a couple times my eyes have completely blacked out to where i couldn't see anything but it came right back it was like i was right on the verge of fainting so i'm drinking plenty of water today uh I'm on three I'm on three different medications right now. I got a water pill, a and two freaking uh blood pressure pills. Well today I took the lesser of the blood pressure only. One of them is a ten milligram and the other one's a five milligram. So I'm taking fifteen milligrams of different with you know of different stuff. Uh, so today I only took the five, thinking maybe I'm getting too much. My blood pressure is one 111 over 68 or something like that I can't remember exactly what it was but it was something like that today while I'm feeling dizzy so I'm thinking I'm my blood pressure is too damn low and it's just causing me to feel faint um, I don't know but we're gonna get to the bottom of it I'm going back to the hospital Friday to get a x-ray of my eye Y'all remember when I blew up my eye it with the whipped cream? Well, they never x-rayed it at the hospital. So, Friday I'm going in for an MRI, which is a magnetic uh, scan of my spine for my back. But before they can do that, they need to x-ray my eye and make sure there's no metal shrapnel left in there. Because if there is, that MRI machine, I guess, would just pull it right through my skin so um, Friday I'm going in for a x-ray MRI and I guess they're gonna do a P or talk to they're gonna do some kind of a test your analysis they want to make sure that I'm not on drugs of course um, for some reason or another I don't know why but I'm not on drugs um, actually I've almost quit drinking I mean I got something I want to try with y'all though. Before I can say I quit drinking, I haven't quit drinking. I've really actually drastically cut down to about one blue cup a day. If even if I even do have a blue cup, it's only one. I don't go over one blue cup, never over one blue cup, no more than one blue cup a day. And 
you don't drink it before noon. Usually, I don't drink it till three o'clock, but this is a Victoria. I'm gonna put my glasses on, folks. I know this is a lot of long, drawn out talking video. <laughs> Um, that I'm gonna have to put together me working on the boat and putting my I got a lot of shit a lot of work to do on these videos but this is called a Victoria beer made in Mexico huh. see there a Victoria beer it's called Victoria doesn't smell good tastes pretty it tastes pretty good not bad. I can drink that. It still ain't no Corona. But you know how I like my Coronas. I like my Coronas or I like my beer. Any beer I, that I usually drink. I like my beer with lemon and salt. But right now, I'm supposed to be on a low sodium or no sodium. I'm not sure qu quite yet. yet whether it's no sodium or low sodium because you know salt's supposed to raise your blood pressure well with my blood pressure blood pressure yeah my blood pressure with my blood pressure so good i can't even speak correctly um with my blood blood pressure about 111 which it's been down below 110 before i mean i should be able to have some salt what do you think i mean i don't know is there anybody out there that's gone through this type of thing before where they ha couldn't have salt um, and when you start on blood pressure, does it make you dizzy? I mean, make you feel like you're going to faint out or whatever like that? Put your comments down below and let me know. I I'm getting a lot of good comments and advice through my uh, viewers, through you guys. I appreciate that. And, you know, I do read all the comments. And uh, I sometimes if I don't reply to it, at least you know I have read them. And I uh, do take a lot of the advice that I'm giving in there, so just don't tell me to eat a turd. I'm not doing that, but if you tell me a certain thing that worked for you or whatever, like what I'm really looking for are some recipes that are good without salt. What can you eat without salt? I haven't figured it out yet except for sweets, but if I do that, I'm going to end up a diabetic. So, vegetables. I like vegetables, but what vegetable is good without salt man i mean you know i like tomatoes and i like to eat lettuce and, and salads and but it's got to have salt wax beans squash things like that i'd like to have some lead i mean some salt on those things i had some spaghetti the other night with no salt the sauce was no salt added spaghetti sauce so crumpled up hamburger meat in there and a little bit of Italian sausage for the meat and it sucked I'll tell you what I didn't I, I didn't finish it and that's probably why I'm losing so much weight is because nothing tastes good nothing I'm allowed to eat tastes good so I'm just really not eating very much which I know ain't good but I am uh, having Mega Man vitamin every morning from GNC so I at least get my vitamins and my nutrition. And uh, I've been drinking a lot more water lately. Um, that's where I stand, folks. So luckily I'm able to stand because <laughs> uh, I do feel like falling down sometimes when I'm standing up. When I have to take when I get when I go in the shower, I sit down now because I'm afraid if I fall or I faint while I'm in there, I'm gonna get hurt. So I sit down, I turn the shower on and sit down in there and do my, you know, scrub up while I'm sitting down. Cause at least if I faint or pass out while I'm sitting down, I won't have that far to fall. Splish, splash, I yeah, was you should see me trying bed. to fit in that bathtub. It's like freaking crazy. I mean, you know, but I'm losing weight. Anyhow, I'm rambling on. That's all I'm doing, rambling on. I'm turning this video camera off now and I'm going to edit this stuff and I'm going to put it up for you. But until then, folks, thanks for watching me and my channel. Y'all have a good day and be kind to one another. RedneckGoneWild.com